It's like it was in the air. I am filming from our new place. I need to try for so long. So you can do pad ties. I'm totally making it from scratch. Hi everyone, welcome to another video. I'm filming from our new place and it's like it's still a bit of a mess because we just moved in today and we still have a lot to organize and stuff like this, but we're really happy with this new apartment and to finally move in together. I think we're just gonna do takeaway for this dinner because we didn't do any grocery shopping yet. So we don't have any food in our fridge or anything, and I think I might just take sushi is because I'm really craving something fresh and not too like fulfilling like I'm already full from today's lunch so I still want like sushi is I'm not gonna show you like the whole apartment because I'm gonna film a whole video about that like an apartment tour video so you can clearly see how each room looks like and I can explain to you more in detail We are just gonna go do some grocery shopping today and also buy some furniture that we're missing so like I really want to buy like a really good pillow all the stuff for the apartment so we're probably just gonna do that and cook our lunch cook our dinner like I don't want to eat outside um, and I don't want to spend money outside and I'm just gonna do like a little bit of like computer work and stuff and that's pretty much it for our Sunday I had my coffee with oat milk and also like I tried date syrup as a natural sweetener and it tastes amazing highly recommend date syrup in your coffee if you like it or in your tea any like hot drink it's delicious so we just got back from the grocery store so we bought some chicken some beef sweet soy sauce rice vinegar salad some pad thai i mean like rice noodles so you can do pad thai eggs bacon skier yogurt some lemon greek yogurt chocolate mousse this is to make like burritos veggie patties indian korma sauce bananas that i'm just gonna freeze and avocados so i'm not making lunch anthony is today we just cook like rot rice you add some scrambled egg and also soy sauce you put also bacon on top of that and that's pretty much it So now we're gonna have ice cream. So I bought the new vegan almond magnum that I wanted to try for so long and we bought um, Ben & Jerry's cookie dough. <laughs> I'm making dinner tonight and we're making burritos so I'm just cooking in a pan some meat, some beef and I added this kind of um, burrito spices in sweet then we're adding some salad, some red kale and I'm gonna add a bit of coconut yogurt for the cream and then I'm gonna toast these tortillas I got back from the store, I just did a few errands, so I found these glasses that I absolutely love. I don't know if you can see, but when you pour like your coffee or your tea, it's like it was in the air. I also found these two. It's not exactly the one I was looking for, but it, it looks like, so I bought them. Then I just went to the organic grocery store so I can do like a mini food haul for you. So I buy normally these kind of veggie patties. I bought some spirulina to pour in my smoothies, some egg as well because every time I bake or every time I cook I need egg. I got syrup which is my favorite favorite sweetener. Coconut milk in a can of course to bake, to pour in cakes, um, in banana bread, anything like that. I bought different flours 
which are both um, gluten-free so I can bake with them. I bought some chocolate as well for dessert so I use them for baking. Kefir, I bought a big bottle of this one because I pour them in my smoothies or I just bring that alone. And then I bought other stuff in bulk but I don't have any containers yet to pour them so you can't really see um, but it's basically nuts. I bought brazil nuts, chestnut, chia seed, shredded coconut and that's pretty much everything that I bought for today. I've decided that I'm gonna bake a chocolate and coconut cake so it's gonna be tall in pro like i don't have any recipe i never tried this one so i'm totally making it from scratch i'm gonna use coconut milk and also shredded coconut i got syrup for a sweetener i wish i had coconut sugar but i didn't have any on hand so we'll see how it goes and i'm just gonna add some more like dark chocolate and three eggs and we're gonna see how it looks like. I don't have any baking powder as well. We're gonna go really simple baking because it's just improve. For the chocolate, I'm basically gonna melt two thirds of the whole bar and I'm gonna keep the rest for making the icing of the cake. <laughs> more sugar because it's already really chocolatey I think it's fine especially because you're gonna put the icing on top and I'm gonna add chocolate and again cream It's the following day. Sorry for yesterday night. Like we just ate the cake and then we watched the TV show and we went to bed. So I didn't really give you a review about the cake, but the taste was incredible it tasted like a bunty kind of frozen cake and i tried it this morning as well and it's 10 times better when it's really really cold at least i prefer it when it's cold anyway i went to the grocery store again but it's normal you know it's september i need to fill up and stock up all of my pantries and i need to buy a lot of foods that i'm gonna use for the whole year or at least like some food that lasts me till december so that's why I just have to buy a lot lot of food but today i went to buy veggies and fruits so i'm basically going to show you how i cut them and how i clean them and prep them for like the week ahead because otherwise i'm really lazy to cook some veggies i bought some more um, rice cakes with chocolate as a snack bought some bananas because i just froze mine this morning so i need to have like fresh bananas to put on toast ginger so i just use that in my drinks my smoothies um, when i cook it's super helpful. I finally got some coconut sugar. It's my go-to for baking. Some fresh oranges to pour in juices or just as snacks. So I'm just gonna cut one for a snack. I bought some gluten-free bread, which is with chia seeds. So it's perfect for my stomach. I'm really gonna try to eat less gluten for this month because my skin is so upset i don't know why organic zucchinis some carrots so i'm gonna cut them so i can just cook with them pepper bell as well this is the best thing ever these are dates it's not medjool dates but it tastes almost the same it's called madzafati dates and for the price it's totally fair like it tastes like really creamy and sweet major dates i got some celery to make some celery juice i love celery juice if it's made with lemon and a bit of ginger and apple celery juice tastes incredible raw cacao so it's pure cacao there's no sugar added it's like to put in my baking or to make hot cacao i like to add my own sugar and my milk coffee as well because i forgot to buy coffee baking 
baking powder, super, super useful for baking. Cucumber for my salad or as a snack, I'm gonna cut that for the weeks ahead. One big cauliflower, so for that, I'm gonna cut that into kind of cauliflower rice, so I can just cook with that, make patties, and I also add them to my smoothies. And trust me, you won't even taste it. Of course, as well, some broccoli, mangoes to eat as a snack or to put in your freezer, some chocolate for baking, vanilla extract for baking, and just tomatoes. So this is what I do when I prep my veggies. By prepping, I mean I cut them, I peel them, I dry them, all of that, but I don't cook them. I have my celery for making juices and like my veggies prepped and my oranges as a snack. Like I actually want to eat one right now, but I think for a snack, I'm going to have a slice of my chocolate cake because I deserve it because I think this took me about one hour to do in it, it, it's not really for saving time that I do this it's because otherwise I'm too lazy and this truly really helps me to eat healthier so I would just recommend you to honestly prep your food and your veggies and cut your fruits and you will see that you will be more tempted to snack on cut fresh fruits than just on cookies and stuff that are already prepped because it's just most of the times so humans are lazy and that's why we eat really unhealthy stuff but if you're organized and you prep your food then you got this okay Okay, I've just made a kind of smoothie bowl. I made it one hour ago, so I put it in the fridge. So that's why it's really like liquidy. But yeah, I just filmed a video about that on Instagram. It was like a cookie smoothie bowl kind of thing because I'm really trying to make nice creams with my Vitamix blender, but I think I think I put a little bit too much liquid in it. I really want to, like, I, don't get me wrong, like it tastes good, but um, I really want to have like a nice aspect of it and not like a really liquidy thing. I really want it to be super thick. So that's why I need to practice more and really experiment things and try again and again and again until I can totally make it perfect. I was also editing this current vlog that you're watching. But I need to finish that up now and then tonight we have a kind of small dinner with um, my boyfriend and his friend. Okay, I think I'm going to cut this vlog here. I hope you did enjoy it. It was a little bit all over the place, but I'm still enjoying vlogging so much. It's one other thing in my day that I'm always, always looking for is filming a video for you or like creating content. I hope you enjoy your day and your week and I see you in the next one. Bye!